Hello everyone. Now today we are going to see the constant mesh gearbox. So what is this exactly constant mesh gearbox? So if you see, this is the constant mesh gearbox in which this is the main shaft, this is the output shaft, this is the lay shaft. So on this, both the shafts, the position of the gears, they are fixed. There will be no any relative motion of these gears on the both the shaft. So this is the shaft which is coming from the engine. And this is the shaft which is just normal parallel to this main shaft. And this is the shaft is going to the gearbox. So in this main shaft, there are two sliding top clutch, one and two. So for engaging the first gear or top gear, we have to just move this sliding top clutch one or two on this plank shaft so that they will be engaged with the respective gears mounted on this shaft. So by we will be getting different speed variations for the respective gear positions. Now suppose if for the direct engagement for top gear, this sliding dock clutch should be in contact with this system so that the drive will be direct. And for the reverse case, this will be the idler wheel for in which the, way the output shaft will turn for the reverse side. So as the gears, they are continuously in contact with respect to each other. So this gearbox is called as constant mesh gearbox. And with the help of sliding dock clutch, we are able to engage and disengage the gears from the main shaft to the output shaft. So in the next slide, we will see this video. Hello, this is a video on how constant mesh gearboxes work. Now, the engine drives through the clutch to the gearbox, driving these two bevel gears, and then driving this drive train here, which is driving the five forward gears and the one reverse gear chain. Constant mesh means that these five gears that we saw at the back are constantly driving the five gears at the front, and the one reverse chain gear at the back is driving the one reverse chain gear at the front. But, as it's in neutral, the output here is not turning. Yeah, all these gears are turning because they are not connected to the output shaft unless we select on the gear selector down there with a the little hole. On this shaft, there's, a, there's the select bar which slides in and out on the gears. Which I'll uh, explain at the end of this video in a simple, simplified version. So now, first gear, it's connected that one gear there to the output shaft. So now it's turning the first gear. I'll go right over to the top gear. Now connected that one gear there to that drive shaft. Reverse. Now the reverse gear has got the exactly same things as the four gear. It's got, got the holes cut out of it for the, a little tab on the un, other end of the gear selector. Slot into down there. So neutral. Reverse. It's in reverse. As you can see it's in opposite direction to these five gears. Okay, so I'm now taking apart the gearbox, only leaving the first forward gear, the reverse gear, the gear selector, the drive shaft, and the case. So now how it actually works in engaging the gears is every gear, every gear that's on the output shaft has four openings cut out for it to engage. So look at it side on. As you can see, we've got the four openings all the way around. Now on the gear selector, we have got two lumps of metal which slide 
on the selector shaft and there's two tiny ones on the back, the reverse gear. So for the forward gear, what we'll do is, we'll put it into gear, it slides underneath the forward gear and when you lift the foot off the clutch, rotates, pushing against the lump, the tab of metal which is pushing against the output shaft. So it's now rotating the output shaft. Like so. Now for reverse gear, go back into neutral. Now bear in mind these gears are always turning. When you, oh, when you lift the foot off the clutch into reverse, so there's a little tab, two little tabs, one on that side and one on the other side that slides underneath this lump on this gear to engage it. So now there's the reverse gear engaged. So there you have it. Please uh, comment and don't hesitate to ask questions. Thank you.